navigating the world of no, politely declining in English. Hello, language explorers. Today, we are diving into the world of politeness in English conversation. Specifically, we're going to look at how to politely decline when someone says, I could use some help. Responding in the right way is essential to maintain respect and rapport in your interactions. So, let's begin. When someone says, I could use some help, they are indirectly asking for your assistance. Responding can be a bit tricky, especially if you are unable to provide the help they need. The key is to be polite, respectful, and understanding. So, how can you say, no, without sounding rude or indifferent? There are several phrases you can use. Remember, your tone of voice also plays an important role. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to assist right now. Unfortunately, I'm tied up with something else at the moment. I wish I could help, but I'm really swamped right now. Each of these phrases shows regret and explains the reason for not being able to help, which softens the refusal. Softening language can be used to make your response less direct and more gentle. For example, I'm afraid I can't help at the moment. I really wish I could assist, but the phrases, I'm afraid, and I really wish, act as buffers to lessen the impact of the refusal. Even if you can't help, you can still show your willingness to assist by suggesting alternatives. This demonstrates your empathy and keeps the conversation positive. Although I can't help right now, you might want to ask John. He might be able to assist you. I'm unable to help at the moment, but have you tried reaching out to the support team? And that's how you can politely decline when someone says, I could use some help. It's all about being polite, understanding, and constructive. Remember, the goal is not just to decline, but also to maintain good relations and communication. We hope you found this video useful. Keep practicing and you'll master the art of polite refusal in no time. Until next time, happy learning.